What's up, freaks? Let's get set up. We're about to start a boot camp session. You're gonna need a pair of dumbbells. If you have different weights of dumbbells, get a couple of different pairs ready, just in case you wanna switch. But if you only have a single pair or whatever, you'll just use them, you'll do more reps, you'll go faster pace, whatever it is. We're gonna be standing up, we're gonna be on our feet, we're gonna be on the ground, we're gonna be all over the place for a, a long circuit. The way it's gonna go is we're gonna start with one single exercise. The first exercise is not gonna use dumbbells. The only exercise of the day not using dumbbells, and that's gonna be a push up. From there, you'll take a break after each round, and then we'll just add one exercise onto that, that's, that circuit every single round. So you'll do then the push up and add exercise number two. Then a very, very, very short break. Then the push up, exercise two, exercise three, and then a very short break. So the rounds are gonna get longer and longer all the way up until at least 12 rounds, where you're doing 12 straight exercises, and we'll probably even get it even further than that. We'll see how time goes and how far we can take it. We'll just go all day. We'll go until we get to 20 if we have to. So every round gets longer, the longer the round, the longer the rest in between, which in the beginning is gonna be pretty much nothing. So let's start by getting warmed up. By moving around, we're gonna start walking forward with big forward shoulder circles. So we're starting that round with push-ups. Think about that. We're starting the round with push-ups and there's at least 12 rounds. That means we have at least 12 sets of push-ups. Figure you're doing at least 10 push-ups per set. That's over 120 push-ups you're gonna get in. And as you're feeling good, you might even you might get more than 10. You might be banging it out once we get into the flow here and we start getting freaking crazy. Rotate those shoulders back when you're walking backwards, forward when you're walking forward. All right, we're gonna walk backwards now with a quad stretch. Hold it for one to three seconds and step back. One to three seconds, step back, right there. And then as you come forward, knee hug, walking forward. Bring the knee up to the chest, hold for one to three seconds. Stretch it up there. Step back, quad stretch, quad. Balancing on that leg that you're standing on for that, for that second or two. Step back, and that's pull it. Back, when you come forward, because the other day it went to, only you can see it. Knee hug, knee hug. All right, let's go to chest, or, or sorry, feet far apart. You're gonna open up your chest at the top. So you're gonna reach down to the bottom, reach overhead. Then you're gonna reach out to the right leg, open the chest out the side. Reach middle, fling up, reach left, Swing out, middle, up, right, out. Is it public? Middle, it's just all the time. up, but public. And not only we can see it, reach down to the middle and go up, reach to the right, fling the chest out. Open it up, left, boom. Shake those arms, shake those arms. Just real quick, just gonna fling the chest open and catch for three seconds stretch here. We need to get the upper body nice and warmed up. Even while you're doing this, keep your feet moving. Stepping around, walking around, fling it open. Catch it for a stretch. Fling it and catch it. Hold that shoulder strong, fling it and catch it. A couple more times each, hold it for one to three seconds. Keeping those feet moving. So your feet are still moving, whether it's side to side, in place, whatever. And good. So these rounds are going to start very short. So we're going to get right to it. We're going to count this first set of push-ups as our first warm-up exercise. So let's go get a quick sip before we start. And we are going to get rolling. All right, let's do this. It's going to be a push-up. It's the first set. We're not going to do a ton of them. Maybe 10, 12, 15, whatever you're feeling. Number doesn't even matter. We're all going to switch at the same time. Let's do it. Bang out some push-ups. Feet together. Chest to the floor. In through the nose down, out through the mouth up. You're stiff as a board. Breathe it out. Drive it up. It's going to be just a real quick short set. Just get things started. And time. Because you know... Every round is going to start a push-up. So technically, that's the end of the first round. First exercise, first round. So right away, we're going to be going right back to push-ups again and adding in our second exercise. So make sure you have your dumbbells out 
and have a few different weights available for dumbbells so that you have them ready for different types of exercises. Also have them ready to think about these earlier sets to have weights that are more for a warm up for you. And then as you get to later rounds, like after this push up, we're going to be adding in a chest press. In these first couple sets, you might want the chest press to be a little lighter as you get warmed up. Later in the workout, you might want to go heavier. If you have a variety of weights. Alright, so let's do it. Right away now, push ups immediately going to go to chest press. We're intentionally doing the same muscle in a row twice. That's how the whole workout's going. It's going to be always two exercises in a row that have the same muscle. So let's go right back to those push ups on the floor. Three, two, one, and go. All the way down. Working the chest, shoulders, tries. Body as stiff as a board. Breathe it out. In through the nose down. Out through the mouth up. Getting that chest nice and warmed up. You're going to flip over right away, right into the chest press. If you have a lighter weight, you do a lighter weight because it's still the first early in, early in the game. So right to that chest press. Elbows out. Tap the floor. Throw it up there. Tap. And drive. Right after that push up, this is going to feel a whole lot different. Especially doing that for 11 rounds of push up to chest press. Your chest is, your, your upper body is going to be shot. You won't even need a ton of weight. You can feel this is already probably heavier. Because you basically just did two sets in a row of push ups already. Think about it. So you don't need a ton of them. And you don't need a ton of weight. You basically did two sets of push ups back to back right into this chest press set. And time. So that's already the second round done. But don't forget, every round gets longer and longer. And now, your chest is going to get even more pumped up because now we have, to start from the top, the chest press, the dumbbell, or sorry, the, the push-up, the dumbbell chest press, and then dumbbell squat is going to be the third that we're going to add on to this round. So now this ends up being five sets in a row of chest, exactly how we want it to get that effect on the muscle. You sure you be feeling, literally. It's only been three sets. You sure you be feeling a pump in your upper body. Just from doing two sets in a row of push-ups right into a chest press, working those same muscles. So shake this out in between. The second we get the break, you should be moving, shaking, stretching, getting ready for the next round. Stretch the shoulders, stretch the chest, because you know we're going right back to push-ups now. Think about that. We've done three sets of chest, and we're about to do two more right now. You're getting a mini chest workout right here to kick things off and that's exactly the way we want it. So keep moving, keep it stretching. We're adding on a dumbbell squat here. So you're going to hold the squat, hold the dumbbell right here for your squat with the dumbbell straight up and down. You can hold it across if you want, but up and down usually works better. All right, let's do it. Push-ups leading the way every round. They're going to start sucking real soon. They might start sucking already. They might start sucking when you were freaking fresh. Three, two, one, and go. Again, you only need 10 or about 10 each time. And that'll still be 120 push-ups for the workout. Think about that. <sighs> 10 or more, whatever. Just get bang them out. Whatever you're feeling. Flip over right away for that chest press. You're not gonna need a ton of weight. You're gonna start feeling this real freaking quick. Chest press, elbows out. Feet flat on the floor, breathe it out as you push up. In through the nose down, breathe it out, drive. Tap, and throw it up. Breathe, exhale. Your triceps sure you start feeling this. This is your fifth set in a row of chest, think about that. Throw it up. You don't need a ton of these because they're going to add up. And we still have nine more sets, at least, of push-ups and chest press. Think about that. We're taking the ordinary exercise and we're going to make them fucking extraordinary. Right away, dumbbell squat. Hold it up in your chest. Right here. And again, adjust your weights for each exercise, wherever you need to. Especially if your legs are not warmed up. You shouldn't be going too heavy here. Sit back on the hips and heels, breathe it out. In through the nose down, out through the mouth up. Drive it. 
Abs are nice and tight. Get those quads, glutes, all warmed up. Upper body is straight up and down. Inhale down, then exhale up. Into the nose down, out the mouth up. Make sure you're not bouncing at the bottom. Keep your head up, chest out, back straight, abs are strong. Don't forget, every set is an ab set. Your abs are tight, firm, every second of every set. And time. Shake that out. If you're doing this the right way, and you're pushing as hard as you should on the push-ups and the chest press, you should already feel a freaking pump. You should feel like you already did a whole mini workout already. That's the way you should feel by the, at this point, if you're pushing this the way that you should be. Move it, stretch it, shake it. Stretch those chest, shoulders, rotate because you know we're going right back to push-ups and chest press to lead off this round. Think about that, we're going to five sets. So this early in the game, we're going to be hitting sets six and seven on the chest already. It's going to be crazy, and it's going to be hard. But that's what we're here for. This round, we're adding in a dumbbell reverse lunge. So you'll hold the dumbbell long ways across your chest, or if you have a lighter pair, you hold it at your sides, and it's going to be alternating reverse lunges. So just like the chest, we want two lower body sets back to back. So it's like we're getting mini workouts within the workout. We got to get a mini chest workout here, and now we're going to add in a mini leg workout right behind it, and then a mini back workout. That's the way it's going to go. So shake that out, get those shoulders ready. These push this is only round four. This is only round four, and these push-ups are already going to be hard. Make it to be your goal to get at least the same number of push-ups every round. Like my goal is to get a minimum of 10 every set. So far I've been doing 12 and 15, but at least I want to try to get 10, even in those later rounds. We'll see what happens. Shake it out, get ready for your Last little mental preparation. We're going for push-ups. Push-ups, chest press, dumbbell squat, dumbbell alternate reverse lunge. Round four. Going in three, two, one. Go, push-up. Oh yeah. Breathe out as you push up, brace those abs. Strong chest, shoulders, tries. Pump it out, oh yeah. Time. And flip it over for the dumbbell chest press. Let's do it. Right away, we don't want to lose that effect. The whole point is doing this immediately after the push-up. So this chest press feels different than it's ever felt before. We're a few minutes into this workout. We're already on our seventh set of chest. Think about that. And think about how you're feeling already. You're already getting a workout in. When you say you don't have time to train, you don't have space or equipment, this is showing you you don't need much. This chest pressure to be hard. My triceps are already ready to peel right off the damn arm. And we're only on step four. How the hell are we going to survive 12 rounds of this shit? I don't know. But we're going to figure it out and we're going to do that shit together. Hi. And I'm freaking battling while we're doing it. Let's go. Dumbbell squat. Get that weight straight up and down, up in your chest, and it's supposed to be a leg set, but obviously you have to hold the weight, so your arms aren't even getting a break here. It's supposed to be a break for the arms, at least it's a break for the chest a little bit. Control down, sit on the heels, pinch your butt together when you come up, pinch it, squeeze it. The saying in the fitness industry is, Pretend you're trying to squeeze a dime between your butt cheeks. Now, I don't know about you, but I never really thought about feeling the need to squeeze a dime between my butt cheeks. So that analogy never freaking worked for me. So just squeeze your damn butt when you come up. Pinch your butt cheeks together. Time. We're going right into an alternating reverse lunge with the dumbbell. You can adjust your weight if you need to. Hold one just straight across here. And we're going to alternate the legs. Nice and slow on your own pace. I'm even going to start from the side so you can see. 90 degrees, both knees. That back knee doesn't touch the floor. It might graze the floor. In through the nose down, out through the mouth up. Alternate reverse lunge. Control down. Stand up tall. Brace those abs. Control this weight. This is round four. Control. Resist down. Drive it up. 90 degrees, both sides. 
Couple more. We got plenty of sets of these and times. That's kind of the warm up set for the lunges. You know we got tons of them to go. Shake it out. That was round four. So now we're gonna start adding in some back exercises. And as we start getting more sets of each of these, like the chest press and the push up, we'll start adding different variations of the dumbbell exercises. So chest press this round, we're actually gonna be alternating our arms. We're adding in exercise number five, which is bent over rows. Gonna be just double arm, bent over rows. Right there. So we have push up, chest press, dumbbell squat, dumbbell alternating, reverse lunge, and then dumbbell bent over row, double arm. And the chest press is gonna be alternating. Shake, I'm telling you that while I'm sitting here babbling, I'm just giving you an excuse and giving you time to recover before the next round. And these rounds are short. These are only four sets. We're going to be building up to 10 sets and then have to repeat it. Oh man. So get that stretch. Get that shake. Get ready for the next round. Keep shaking it out. Active recovery. Preparing for the next round. Every round starting, as you know, with that push up. While we're on this break here, who's following along? Put in the comments if you're following along here right now so I know who we're with. So I can make sure you're doing shit the right way. Who is following along here right now live? And then also, if you're doing this later on the replay, just put in the comments just that you're doing the replay. But who's here live? Just check in at the bottom. We need to know who we're here with. Don't try and hide in there. We need to know you're here doing this and making it happen. We can keep you in line, keep you rolling. All right, let's do it. Round number five. Getting set up. And you know we're leading the way with push-ups. Let's do it. Push-ups. Set your goal number. Whatever that number is for you that you want to get every set, make sure you get it. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Pump it out. You don't need a ton of them. 15 will do it. 15 will do it. Joanna, what's up? Right away, flip over for that chest press. Right to it, right after those push ups. Your chest, and especially your tries, are going to be fried. Suck it up, make it happen. Pump that chest press out. Throw it up there, breathe out. Control down. Tap the elbows, drive it up. Tap and drive. Breathe it, breathe it. Boom. Throw it up there. If you can, try to let the amount of reps for your chest press. Oh, we're supposed to alternate this round. Shit. Alternate chest press. Pick it up alternating. We want to switch it up every once in a while since we're doing so many sets. Oh, yeah. Burning. Couple more. Boom. Boom. Time. Come right up. That dumbbell squat. Hold that at your chest. See, we're doing strength movements, but you're going to end up getting a serious cardio effect out of this. This is how you get in shape and stay in shape all year round because we're hitting each muscle hard and then going to a complete opposite muscles so you can keep going. So your heart rate will stay up there, but the muscles get a break. That's why we're going to be able to do this long ass round. Whew. Into the nose down, drive it up, breathe it out. Control down, shoot it up. A few more. Whew. Last one coming up. Time. Right away to that dumbbell all day reverse lunge. Scoop up your weight. So if you have different weights, switch them out as needed. You know which ones you're stronger at, or if you have any limitations, or need to modify anything, do what you gotta do. Let's go all the reverse lunges. Control it. Resist down, 90 degrees, both knees. Control it. Abs are strong, head is up, shoulders are level, chest is out, shoulders are back and down. One more each side. 
Exercise five, we're adding. Bent over rows, double arm. Get your weights. Lean over at the waist. Look, I'm gonna go from the side to show you how straight your back should be. And look, there's no movement in my back. It's just my arms. Let's do it, squeeze our shoulder blades together. Pinch it. It's just the first set of the back. So we're really just getting this movement warmed up. We're not gonna do a ton of them. You only need 10 to 12, especially on a circuit like this. Make sure your abs stay tight. As you get out of breath, it's gonna be harder to keep your abs tight. And on. Shake it out, shake it out, stretch it. So that was round five. So if you've been following the trend and the tempo, we're gonna add another back exercise in. So it's now gonna be renegade rows with your dumbbells, alternating arms. Renegade rows, alternating arms. We're also gonna go alternating on our bent over rows this round. So we're switching up the bent over row. Chest press, we're also going alternating since we only alternate for the last 25% of the last set. So chest press alternating, bent over row alternating, and then renegade row is also alternating. So all alternating this round. Six exercises. Push up, dumbbell chest press, dumbbell squat, dumbbell alternating reverse lunge, dumbbell bent over row alternating, and dumbbell renegade row. Also alternating. A couple seconds, shake it out. Because trust me, we need to save the break time, like the rest time, for those later rounds. We don't want to even waste time resting now on these short rounds. Although it's work, and we're already feeling it, think about once we get to round eight, round nine, round 10, however far we can take it. We're going as far as we can take it to the end of this hour. Shake that out. Let's get set up on the push-ups. Your goal is to hit your same number every single set, no matter how tired you get, no matter how out of breath you get, now, how pumped up your upper body is, your goal is to get the same number, whatever that goal number you set there in the beginning that you want to get. All right, let's do it. Let's get set up. Last shake, last stretch. Getting set up for push ups. Going in three, two, one, and begin push ups. Leave with the chest, your body stiff as a board, bang it out. Chest touches the floor, feet are together. In through the nose down, out through the mouth up. Bang it out. Get your tempo. Stiff as a board. Burn it out. Push it. Flip over right away for your chest press. Grab your dumbbells right to it. We're going to blast that chest. This is already like 11 sets of chest here in about 15 minutes. Pump it out. Throw it up there. Breathe out when you push up. Stick your chest out. Working your chest. Tries. Control it, tap the elbows, drive it up. Strong exhale, shoot it up. Done so many sets then, it's right after a strong set of push-ups. You don't need a ton of them. Throw it up, tap and drive. You can match the amount that you did on the push-up, done. Right away, right to that dumbbell squat. Grab your dumbbell straight up and down. Hold it at your chest. Pin it in. Pin your shoulders back and down. Sit back on the heels. Brace those abs. Control down. Drive up. Don't bounce at the bottom. Strong breath. Breathe out. Drive it up. Couple more. Pump it, pump it, pump it! Time! Grab your weight for your alternating reverse lunge. Hold out your chest, long ways, alternate sides. And your nose down, out through your mouth up. Control and drive. Ha! Dig, dig, dig! this down. Again, it's coming right after a squat set. We don't need a ton. You need plenty of work. Your heart rate sure to be up there. One more time. Time. Bent over 
rows alternating. And we forgot the whole thing on the chest press. We'll get that next round. Bend over rows. Alternating arms. Let's do it. So look, they're both moving the whole time. Nice and slow. So kind of cross your path in the middle. There's tension on both sides of your back. Behind your shoulder. Your lats. And your abs are what's holding together here. Breathe it out. Pump it. Hold your ground. Get that back straight. Two more each side. One. One. Two. Two. Come on. Finishing off the round. Exercise six. Renegade row. Push up position. Alternating arms. So you're balancing your hands on the weights. And if you have to, you put your hands on the other hand on the floor. Do what you gotta do. And go. Row it down. Alternate sides. Abs are strong. Your body's gonna want to twist. Let it twist as little as possible. Hold your ground. Strong. Stiff as a board. Work through it. It's a slow, controlled, intentional movement. Tight squeeze. Oh yeah. This is exercise six. Round six. Time. Shake it. We're adding in leg set this round. This round, we're going to add in a split squat, just with the right leg forward. You know what? This round, we're going to add in two rounds. So we're going to go seven and eight combined. So it's going to be a set of split squat right and split squat left. Just to make sure we get all this stuff in, because these last rounds are going to take a lot, lot longer. Like literally rounds eight, nine, 10, 11 are going to take more than one through 10 took. It's gonna take up more time. So we're gonna add in two rounds this time. It's split a set with split squat right, that's your right leg forward, holding the dumbbell, straight up and down, and then split squat left. So we're gonna go to eight exercises this round, adding in two sets, because we need to hit each side. So we're gonna count that, put that, add them in the same round. So from the top, it'll be push-ups, dumbbell chest press, dumbbell squat, dumbbell alternate reverse lunge, Dumbbell bent over row, dumbbell renegade row, dumbbell split squat right, and then split squat left. Eight sets coming up. Shake it, it's gonna be a little longer around. Bigger jump than it's been. Shake it, stretch it, active recovery. Stretch those legs, you know we're adding in some more leg sets this round. Get them ready. Stretch your glutes, quads, hamstrings, hip flexors here by right? twisting, stretching that. Hip flexor. And you know we're starting with push up from the top. So stretch that chest out, grab the wall, stretch the chest. This is round eight, and it's still not even halfway there. Think about that. You think it's halfway there because it's eight out of 12, but it's so heavily weighted on the back end of this circuit that we're not even at the halfway mark yet. Not even close. So we gotta pick up the pace. Let's do it, push-ups. Going in three, two, one, go, bang them out, whatever you can get. Leave with the chest. Yes, flip it right over. Remember, try to keep hitting your same number on push-ups every round. I'm still try to hit 15s there. And then try to max that amount of reps with these dumbbells. This time we're going alternating arms because we keep skipping every freaking round. Alternating arms with chest press. Go. 15 each side at least, or max the number that you did for your push-up. Push through it. This is what we're here for. Get some work. Oh yeah, burn those tries. Pump the chest up. I'm babbling, so I don't even know what my number's on. I gotta be getting close to 15. Let's go two more each side. One, one, two, two, yes! Oh 
yeah. That's only two into the round, and you already should be feeling it. I'm feeling it. Right to the freaking dumbbell squat. Get it at your chest. Let's roll. We don't need a ton here. 10 to 15. With circuits like this, you don't need crazy high reps. Especially if you're using a decent amount of weight. You don't need a lot of reps. If you have super light weight, you should be banging these reps out. And getting higher rep ranges in. And through the nose down. Out the mouth up. Drive it. Control down. Shoot it up. Let's go. Two more. Time. Going to the alternating reverse lunge. Scoop up your weight. Stepping back. Control down. Put the weight on the hip and the heel of that front leg. Both knees come to 90 degrees. I'm kind of give you an angle here so you can see. That front knee shouldn't pass the front toe. The knee should be right over that front ankle. Middle of the foot. One more each side. Time. Going back to the bent over rows. Double arm. So both arms moving together. Scoop up your weights. Lean over. Let's do it. See if you can match your push-up set. Squeeze the top, control down. Pinch those shoulder blades together. Pinch them. Time. Down for that renegade row. Alternating arms. It's only the second set of renegade rows. We're gonna keep it the same for now. Three, two, one, go! Control it. Slow and squeeze, slow and controlled. Your body's gonna to wanna to twist. Let it twist as little as possible. Your hips are gonna to wanna to raise up. Let them raise up. As little as possible. Work through it. A couple more each side. Let's go. Two more each side. Ah. Right away to those split squats. You're going with the right leg forward. You're going to hold the weight up in your chest. The same way we did for the reverse lunge. Right leg forward. Left leg back. Control down. And the nose down. And up. Resist. Resist down. Tap and drive. Control it. Nice and slow. Resist, resist. One more. Switch legs. Left leg forward. Control down. Drive up. Control it. In through the nose down. Out through the mouth up. Abs are strong. Head up. Chest out. Both knees drop 90 degrees. That back knee might raise the floor. Control it down. Two more. And time. Shake it. Get a full break. We're adding in a dumbbell shoulder press coming up. Shake it out. Control it. Keep it moving. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Stretch it. Active recovery. Shake it out. Stretch it. Gotta pause there for a second, but we're good here. Stretch our shoulders. So here we're adding in a dumbbell shoulder press. Rounds are gonna start getting crazy. It's gonna start getting nuts. 
It's going to start getting harder if it wasn't getting hard already. So get those shoulders ready. Stretch them. Get those legs ready. We're adding in two leg sets this round, those split squats. And that was just the first round. You know, the first round of each one is going to kind of count as the warm-up round. So we're going to go even longer this round coming up. And then as your upper body is just fried, we're going to add in those shoulder presses. Let's do it. Shake it. Stay hydrated. Stretch your quads, hamstrings, glutes, hip flexors, chest, shoulders, tries. Your tries are starting to get pumped up and from all those push-ups, just come back overhead without twisting your neck. Fling that chest open down and low and up here. Look, fling it low. Just open that chest and shoulder up and then stretch to alternate. Same way we do when we do a shoulder stretch. Same way we do here and stretch it. Get that blood flowing. We're starting in about two seconds. Yes. Let's do it. Going in. Three. Push-ups coming up. Hit your number. Hit your goal. Three, two, one. Bang it out. Go. Pump it. Pump it. Leave it to the chest. Yes. Flip it. Oh, yeah. That chest press. This round, you're going to go with elbows in, palms in. So a palms in, chest press. It's going to be a little closer, not super close. If the elbows, hand, the weights are still apart, but you're just pushing straight up. It's going to be a little more tricep here. We're just hitting different angles every time to get a different effect after those push-ups. Hitting the muscle slightly different way every set. Oh yeah, these are a little harder. After those push-ups, the triceps should be peeling right now, peeling off the bone. Go pump it out. A few more. Ha! Ha! Oh yeah! Two more. This is what it's all about. Pushing freaking through. When you think you're done, you think you can't do any more, you say screw that, and you blast out a few extra. Let's go, dumbbell squat. Get that weight up in your chest. Sit back deep on the hips and heels. Breathe it out. In through the nose down, out through the mouth, the way up. Control it. No bounce at the bottom. Brace the abs. This is round number nine. Control down. Drive it up. Oh yeah. Resist. Drive. One more. Good. Switch away if you need to or whatever. Alternating. Reverse lunge. Hold that weight up in your chest. If you're not sucking wind, you're doing something wrong. Because I'm in fairly decent shape. And I'm dripping sweat. Sucking wind. And the body is pumped. The chest, the shoulders, the tries, forget it. The legs are now starting to catch up as we add in more and more of these leg rounds. And this round we're adding that shoulder press. That'll be fun. Control. Two more each side. Resist down. Don't rush it. You don't want to put any pressure. Or impact on your knees. Fine. Bent over rows. Going back to alternating. Alternating bent over row. Grab your dumbbells. Let's go. Got to scoop up quick. We're moving fast. Pump it out. Go. You're not, bent, you're not alternating these that fast. Control it. Squeeze. Both sides are squeezing the entire time. Pump it out. Digging those lats. Back is straight and strong. Three more inside. One, one, two, two, boom, boom. We're going ready right to row. But listen up, you're doing just one side at a time. So one hand's going to be on the floor while the other one's rowing. Or you can put on the weight if you want to because it'll keep you elevated more so you don't hit the weight. I'm going to do it on the floor. 
and go a little heavier the weight. So it's going to be just right side only and then left side. So let's go. Actually, I'm going to elevate it so I have more space, I think. Let's see. Let's do it. Right side only. Just a single arm. Just about 10 each arm. Or 12. Or 15. Switch. Switch sides right away. Left arm. Hit that base. Try not to twist too much. During that set, you have to hold so much tightness I couldn't even say a damn word. All right, we're adding in the split squats. Right leg forward. You go weight at your chest. Actually, this set we're gonna go left leg forward, just to mix things up. Throw a curveball at you, so it's a slightly different effect. Not always doing the same leg first. Control down. So push that left. Heel and left glute to get you up there. Into the nose down. Out the mouth up. Go at your own pace. If you have a light weight, you're feeling good. Let's keep banging these out with control. It's not too fast of a movement. Make sure you slow and controlled. One more. Oh yeah, switch. Right leg forward. Push through the right hip and heel. Go. Straight up and down. Dig, dig, dig. Head up, chest out, abs strong. Resist. Two more, two more, two more. Ha! Oh yeah. We're going shoulder press, dumbbells. Overhead. Palms forward, 90 degrees, both elbows. Scoop up your weight. Listen, this late in the game, you don't need a ton of weight. Shoulder press. Hold your ground here, go. We only need 10, 12, 15. If you have light weight, maybe a little more. Control it. Don't arch your back. Your heart rate's up, you're breathing heavy. It's gonna be hard to keep your abs tight. You gotta learn to separate the squeeze of your abs from your breathing. Two separate muscles. Hold your abs tight while you're controlling your breathing. Four more. Ha. Two. Three. Four. Time. And that is round nine in the books. We're adding in dumbbell bicep curl to this round. Chest press is going to stay palms in. And we're going to alternate arms. Bent over row is going to be single arm, so just one arm. Renegade row is going back to normal, alternating. Shoulder presses are going to be palms forward, alternating. Dumbbells will be double arm going up. Round 10. Holy crap. Shake it. Stretch it. We're getting deep into this thing. We are getting deep in. Every round, as you know, starting off with those push-ups. Always try to hit the same number of push-ups every round. Shake it, stretch it. Getting ready for this round. Coming up, round 10, adding in dumbbell bicep curls. Now it gets real. Now the workout begins right now. Literally, this is where it starts. Right now. All that other stuff was just building up. The workout doesn't begin until your body's ready to fail. Until your mind wants to consider stopping or quitting or can't do anymore. That's where the real workout begins. So get ready for this round. Because this round is going to be no joke. Ten straight exercises. Ten straight sets. Shake it, stretch it. Push-ups coming up. I want to see the same number of push-ups here. The same number. I don't care if this is the 10th round. I want to see if you've done or You've already done over. If you've done 10 push-ups around, you've already, or, or more than 10, you're going to be close to 100 right now. If you've done more than 10, you're already well over 100. Even though we skipped around. 
when we added on the two split squats. All right, we gotta go. Adding in dumbbell bicep curls at the end. Push ups. Going in three, two, one, go. Bang them out. Come on. Same number as you did. Pump it out. Chest press. Remember, elbows in, palms in, alternating arms. It's gonna suck on the triceps, but that's what we want. Alternating arms. So one is up, one is down, and they're both moving the entire time. Ha! Pump that out. Slow control. They never stop moving, but they're moving slow. Oh yeah. You should feel that already after a few in your triceps. Hell yeah. Pump it. Let's go four more each time. One, one, two, two, boom, boom, four, four, hell yeah. Hop up for that dumbbell squat. Right away, we gotta bang these out. This is a circuit. We got a lot to get through this round. Let's hit those squats. Control down. Into the nose down, out through the mouth up. Brace those abs. Squeeze loose, you come up. Sit back on the hips and heels. Don't let that weight pull you forward. It's late in the game. Your technique, your posture, your core, they're gonna all start trying to fade. You have to be intentional about it. Control it. The more tired you get, the better your technique needs to get. The more tired you get, the stronger you need to get. Let's go, two more. Ha! Oh, yeah! Right, so those alternating reverse lunges. Scoop up your weight. If this isn't sucking right now for you, you're doing something wrong. We should be getting towards the level of high level suckery at this point. Work through it. Deal with it. Control these. 90 degrees both sides. Resist down. Control. Drive up. Into the nose down. Control down and up. Resist. Oh yeah. One more each leg, one more. 90 degrees. Drive it up. Come. Bent over rows. We're doing just single arm here. You only need one weight. If you have a heavier weight, this is time to do a heavier option. Let's go. You can stagger your feet like this and put your forward leg on your forward, forward hand on your forward leg. Pause that squeeze at the top, dig it. Control it down. Your back stays straight. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Put it down just for a second. Stand up straight, extend those hips. Right over the other side, go. Pump it. This is round freaking 10. Holy crap. Breathe it out. Squeeze the top. Five more. Squeeze those lats. Brace your abs. Two, three, four, five. Renegade row. Back to normal. Alternating arms. So weights under both hands. Your hands should be nice and slimy by now. Let's do it. Alternate arms. Dig, dig, dig. Don't let your body twist too much. Don't let your hips raise too much. Hold your ground. Locked in place with that chest, shoulder, tricep. Your abs, your core, holding everything together. Squeeze the back. Squeeze the lats. Crushing grip. Two more each side. One. One. Two. Two. Oh yeah. We're up for split. Split squat right. Split squat right. Pull the weight up in your chest. Right leg forward. Left leg back. And drop down. Go. 
In through the nose down, out through mouth up. Breathe it. Control down. Drive up. Ha. Drive it up, breathe out. Two more. Good. Split squat left. You know we got shoulder press. Coming up. Go. Ooh, get late in the game. A few more. Work through it. Push the hip and the heel, that front leg. Brace your core. Two more. Ha! Shoulder press. I'm gonna be alternating. Palms forward. Alternating shoulder press. Right here. So one is up. As it comes down, the elbow goes up. Your body's gonna to wanna to twist side to side like that, don't let it. And only come down to 90 degrees with the bottom arm, so don't come down to here. Out wide. Push through. We don't need a lot of these, as you can tell probably. I could tell. Let's go three more each side. One, one, two, two, three, three. And dumbbell bicep curls finishes the 10th exercise. Let's go, palms up. Palms up, elbow stuff to your sides. And go. Ha! Control down. Look from the side. My elbows never leave my sides. See, I'm not doing this. I will stay stuck to the side, right alongside your spine. The edge of the weight taps my thigh. So you can see it keeps my arms straight then. We don't want to be angled out here. So the edge of the weight should graze the front of your thigh without resting. Keep tension on your bicep. Crush that grip. Five more. One. Two. Pump it. Curls for the girls. Three. Four. Five. Time. All right, freaks. Listen up. You're going to take a break or recover. We're doing one more round. We're going to do all 10 of those again. Fly through it and adding in two exercises. We're going to add in dumbbell hip raises where you're on your back and you're pushing the weights up and then laying flat on your back, holding the weights in the air while you're flutter kicking. So dumbbell flutter kicks. So 11 is dumbbell hip raise. 12 is dumbbell flutter kicks. 12 straight exercises going out with bang. We're going to go into some overtime today. That's fine. We'll figure it out. It's worth it. That's what we're here for. We're not here to cut corners. We're not here just to get, get to the bare minimum, just to the expectations. We're here to exceed the expectations, above and beyond. That's what we're doing. One more round. Last round of the day. I want you burying yourself here. Every bit of juice you got left, you need to put into this round. Do this round like it's the last freaking, last day of your life. That's how you should be doing everything in your life. Like it's the last thing you'll ever do. How would you do something if you knew it was going to be the last thing you're ever going to do? How would you do something if you thought the whole world was watching you? That the universe was watching you, your kids were watching you? That's how you need to be doing every single thing you do in your life. No matter who's watching you. That's how you're going to get real results. That's how you're going to get ahead. That's how you're going to be successful. Shake it. Stretch it. 12 exercises straight through, coming up. This is the time point in this workout. Your muscles are the most fatigued. You're the most out of breath. Your energy's already getting drained. You're feeling numb. You're stripping sweat. And we're about to do the longest, hardest round of the day. That's the way shit goes sometimes. You don't get to pick and choose. Don't choose easy. Don't ever choose easy. Choose freaking hard in everything. Choose hard. Easy is easy. Easy is freaking easy. And easy gets you nowhere. No great success, no great results have ever happened without a significant level of suffering, pain, and sacrifice. If you've had any success in your life, in any area of your life, in business, in fitness, with your family, no great success is ever done without sacrifice and suffering and pain and commitment. This is what it takes. And we're about to enter the world of pain right now. Enter the world of suffering with these 12 sets in a row. And then after this, the rest of your day is freaking easy. Easy day after this. Let's do it. 
Push-ups, match your number. I think the first couple sets I did about 10 or 12 to warm up, and since then it's been 15. Actually, I want you to do more than you did all day. If you've been doing 10, I want you to do 12 or 15. If you're doing 12, 15, I want you to do 17, 18. I want you to do 20. Whatever you can get. Let's do it. Let's roll. Last round of the day. We're going overtime today. Bonus round. Bonus round. Just because you can. Three, two, one, and go. Blast it out. Pump it. Get higher than you've been getting all day. Keep going. Keep going. So you fall on your face. Ha! Oh, yeah. Time. And now flip over for those chest press. I don't even know how many I did there. I lost count, but that was a bad one. It was at least 25. And now this chest press is going to be awfully shitty. Regular set of chest press. Last round of the day. Regular set. Go. Pump it out. Oh yeah, they feel heavy. After one rep, holy shit. Pump it out. Don't even think. Breathe. Pump that. Last set of the day. The best set of the day. The hardest set of the day. Make the hardest set the easiest set. Because you're not pumping out. It's easy to pump out. Avoiding pain is easy. Avoiding suffering is easy. Choosing pain. That's when you get results. Seeking pain. Seeking suffering. Ha! Time! Oh shit. Those almost fell on my face. They literally almost fell on my face. But I'm willing to risk letting the weight fall on his face. I can't get much uglier anyway. I'm willing to do that rather than choose the freaking easy way out. The easy route. Go. Squat. Last round of the day. I need every bit of juice you got left in you. Push it. In the nose down. Out the mouth up. Brace those abs. You're going to start getting out of breath. Three more. Drive it up. Time. Alternating. Reverse lunges. It sucks. It's supposed to. This is what separates you from the rest of those suckers in the world. You're willing to do what everyone else is not willing to do. It's your decision. You decide every day. Work out or don't work out. The world doesn't decide. No freaking corona decides. No president election decides. No riot decides. Nothing decides. You decide. Am I going to work out today? Yes or no? Decide. Am I going to eat shit today? Yes or no? You decide. Am I going to be positive or negative today? You decide. Am I going to choose easy today and get nothing out of it? You decide. Am I going to choose hard? Choose hard. Seek hard. Search for hard. Bent over row. Alternating arms. I'm more out of breath from babbling than I'm out of doing the damn exercise. Shit. Let's go. Bent over row. Alternating arms. Glass these out. Come on, we don't need a ton of them. It's late in the game. We've done so many sets already. Burn this out. Work through it. Hold your technique. Don't strain your lower back. If you feel like you're losing it, look. Just stand up straight. Reset. Retighten up your core. And go back again. For a few more. You can always modify. Modify before you stop. Die before you quit. Pump it out. Time. Renegade row. Last time on the renegade row. We're keeping them normal. Alternating arms. Shifting your weight. Three, two, one, go. Squeeze the top. Dig in the side of your back. Let's go. Just two more side. Time. 
Split squat, right leg forward. We're on bonus time here. Come on, you ain't know where to go. Split squat, right leg forward. Sorry, left leg forward, left leg forward. We want to switch things up, go. All we need is like 80 side. Four more. And switch. I need you to focus right here. I've given you enough external motivation in this workout. I need you to find it in your own self. You can't always rely on motivation from outside sources. That is not renewable. You can't generate that on your own. You need to learn to generate it on your own subconsciously without having non-stop in your ear. Sometimes it's got to be yourself. Time. Oh yeah. Shoulder press. We're going palms in, alternating. Let's do it. Come on, you got four exercises, we're done. Four exercises, you're done on this bonus round. Pump these out. Elbows in tight. Brace the core. Dig. Dig. Pump these. I want to blast these out. If you have light weight, you should be just pumping these. Burning the shit out of your shoulders. Just don't arch your back. Tighten up your core. Let's go. Two more to side. One. One. Two. Two. Right to bicep curls. Palms up. And we're also alternating. Let's do it. Palms up. Go. Blast these out. Kick it. Kick it strong. Again, look at this elbow. Doesn't leave the side of my waist. Look at the front of the weight. Taps the front of my thigh, but doesn't rest. Four more each side. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Let's go. Hip raise. You're just going to be on your back. Knee bent. You're just going to put the weights right on your hips and just drive through your heels right there. Tap your butt to the floor. Drive it up. Last two sets of the day. It's time to freaking back. You're laying down. It's damn near taking a nap. Drive it up. Kick it. Strong. Breathe. Exhale when you push up. Ha. Ah. Tap. Drive. Breathe it out. Three more. Last two. Time. You're going to take those weights, both or one, whatever, depending on what weight you have, hold them straight up in the air, and you're flutter kicking it out to finish off the workout. Press that lower back into the floor. Kick your legs. Go. Blast it. Pump it. Full speed. Dig it. Dig it. Let's go. Ten seconds. You're done. Straight exercises, straight through. Tough. Nice work. Shake it out, stretch it out. Recovery process starts right now. You need to have your post workout shake ready. Mine is literally ready. All the different powders I need for right after my workout in a little funnel, a little herbal life funnel. All I do is take the little nozzle off and pour it right into my bottle, shake it, and I'm ready to go. Ready to go attack the day. This should be the easiest part of the day. This should make the rest of your day easy. No matter what else you have today. I have to do some workshops today and speaking engagements today. That's all going to be easy after getting this done. I know I'm already, my day's already a victory. I can't lose today by already getting this out of the way today and choosing the hard option on this stuff. Making it hard. We could have done just eight rounds, taking longer breaks in between, but that's choosing easy. We're not choosing easy. We could have cut some of the harder exercises out or not done them so many times or done less push-ups every round. Choose freaking hard, everything you do. Choose hard, search for hard. And eventually the hard becomes easy, you need to choose a new hard. Challenge yourself all the time. Do the shit that, do shit that people around you think you're freaking crazy. Do shit around you that people think is, is impossible, but you're making this shit look easy. So you can do a new impossible. That's where you need to be thinking, that's how big you need to be thinking. That's the kind of goals you need to be setting. The ones that have seemed so far out there, 
but you know it's possible. I'm not saying to be unrealistic, but you should be thinking unrealistic according to the, the average 99.99999% of the community who's not on your level. You're here doing this right now, you're in that top percent of high performers. That's what you need to be doing. Stick with it. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Just send me a, a private message. Also freaking work out. Thank you for joining. We will see you later. Give me a hairy knuckle. Fist bump. I will see you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. <laughs>